Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Wendy and in today's video, I'm going to be making homemade dog food. For about a year, my dog, his name is Banksy, and he has been using canned dog food mixed into his regular hard dog food. And he will not eat dog food without the canned mix. And it has been a little bit hard to find the dog food because for one, it's been out of stock everywhere it seems like. We were buying the Science Diet um, stewed version. I initially saw a video of this girl on YouTube. I'll link her channel below in her video. She has a lot of information and the dog food recipe is veterinarian approved and it looked really good so I thought I would try it. So hopefully this inspires you to recreate your own dog food at home. If you guys have any questions about my recipe or any recipe that you're wanting to use, please leave a comment down below and I'll answer as many questions as I can. So for the ingredients, I got most of mine at Aldi. You can get really good products for a very cheap price and mostly organic. So the first thing that I got was this chopped spinach. This is organic. You can also use fresh if you can't find um, the frozen spinach, but I just got the one in the bag for frozen. I also got brown rice. This is organic as well. You're going to want to use brown rice because it's a little bit more healthier for your dogs than white rice. The next thing I got was 100% pumpkin puree. You're going to want to make sure it's 100% pumpkin puree. Pumpkin is really good for dogs. It helps with their digestive system and if they're having a little bit of the runs, this will clear it right up. The next thing that I have is coconut oil. Um, this is really good for their coats and their uh, skin so it's not too dry. The coconut oil that I got, I just ordered this offline, but you can get any sort of virgin coconut and cold press preferably. Next thing that I got at Aldi was ground turkey and I got the 93% lean one. There is like an 85% lean, but I figured I'd just go with the leanest lean for him. Um, but I got two things of ground turkey. Peas, you can use fresh peas if you'd like. I wouldn't recommend getting the canned peas because that does include a lot of sodium and um, sugars in that pea. So I recommend getting like some frozen peas. And you're gonna to wanna to get a sweet potato. I got about four sweet potatoes and some carrots. You can also get the bag carrots um, that are already peeled and chopped, like the little mini baby carrots, but I just went ahead and got the organic carrots. I peeled them and chopped them myself. And two cups of water. You wanna help? Come here. Do you wanna help with the video? Hi. This is a Banksy. He is two years old. He's a purebred Dalmatian. This is the picky one. Here, picky. You're gonna help? What's this? Is that rice? Is this carrots? Oh, you're gonna have some peas? Look at that. <gasps> Those are yummy. You like them? <laughs> <laughs> what about sweet potato? Oh, look, you got some pumpkin here. Oh, <gasps> you like pumpkin. Okay, what about spinach? How about that? Oh. What is it? Anybody like spinach? You're gonna help me? This is your dog food. High five. High five. Good boy. Okay, so we're gonna add our ingredients to the instant pot. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just use this little spatula thing and just really break this down a good amount. That way you get a good dog food texture. This looks amazing. It looks like canned dog food right out of it. So what I did was just put it in a Ziploc bag and you can label 
cancel it. Um, this is good in the fridge for four days.